Thanks for stopping by my garden. Today is Thursday, March 4th. You know what you do on March 4th? Yeah, plant blueberries. Come on, you're here. Let's get our hands dirty. Let's go ahead and plant some blueberries. And before anybody freaks out, yes, the deep mulch no-till guy is going to use some compost. Blueberries need a little bit of acidity. This particular compost is pine bark. We've had some pretty good luck with it. So we're going to give her a shot. To plant any container, you want to scrape back the mulch down to bare soil. And you want to go ahead and dig us a little hole. But we're going to go ahead and put this in the wheelbarrow. I'm going to make a pretty decent little hole here. And see, when we get down here a little ways, you can see just how red my clay is. You can see how nice the deep mulch and the worms have done their job. I'm not going to use too much of the pine bark mulch. Then what I'm going to do is stir that on in there. Your pot, you do not want to bury it any deeper than the crown in the container. Backfill all the way around it. And I am going to use some of this pine bark mulch to backfill in a little bit around here. And then scatter your grass and leaves back around. There you go, one blueberry. Look at my helpers. Now one of the reasons we're putting these in now is because they're dormant. You want to put your dormant blueberries in late February, early March. If they start to break, they start to leaf out. You need to let them go ahead and leaf out before you put them in. These are going to get up to about six feet tall about five feet around. We're making one row so we shouldn't be too bad. For your best blueberry production, they say you want to have a couple different varieties. This is emerald blueberries that we're putting in. The two that we put in last year were champagne blueberries. Do the same thing as we did last time. Just sort of mix that in. Depth. Put a bit of the loose dirt back around it, the loose soil back around it. Emerald blueberries. There's a couple, three different varieties or kinds of blackberries. Point is, it doesn't really matter. They all need to be trellised in some fashion. Navajo thornless blackberries. What we're definitely going to do, they need a trellis in case of the wind. See, this is right on the edge of that mulch pile. And you can see we're down almost a foot, and it is gorgeous. We're going to see what happens with these. 
It looks like they had tried to break. And you just bring some mulch back in around them. Now we got them about six feet apart. If you're going to do a couple rows, you're going to want them at least eight feet apart so you can get in between them. This mulch is still pretty deep where we move this fence. But it will break down very quickly. And you just take it down to the soil. And this is pretty soft too. So even in the no-till, no dig, you still have to dig a hole if you're going to plant something permanent. Add a little mulch. And we'll untie these when they start to break. And give the rosemary a little drink. When you're doing this, make sure you get down in the crown so it gets down to the roots. Even though these are dormant, they do require a little bit of water. We've been watering the blueberries and rosemary off and on all winter long. Well, even if it goes half as planned, we ought to have two different types of blueberries which ought to make the blueberry sweeter. And we ought to have at least one thornless blackberry bush. If it all goes well, the food forest is starting to take shape. Now, if I was planning this out, this might not be the corner to have the perennials in. But the way it's working out, that's the corner where the perennials are gonna be in. Now, we've never grown any kind of berries. And last year, we got one blueberry off of the two plants. So, even if we get two, we've increased our production 100%. How nice would it be to walk out in your garden on a summer's morning, get a handful of different kind of berries straight off the bush? Now that's a breakfast. Thanks for visiting my garden and help me plant some blackberries and some blueberries. And remember, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.